Hi everyone, welcome to Manatee Gaming and welcome to my 1 to 99 fire making guide and beyond. In this guide I'm going to be showing you the fastest ways currently to get to 99 fire making in 2016 as of the date of this video. At the end of the video I will be including alternate ways to gain EXP such as uh, different level options. So feel free to check out the end um, after I go through the main guide um, so some other methods you could use if you wish. To start off here I am going to go over some items that could be useful in order for you to make fire making quicker. The first two items are the Ring of Fire and the Flame Gloves from the All Fired Up quest. You just have to complete the quest and then do the extra stuff at the end in order to get those and together they give you a 5% boost or 2% boost individually. The next thing is bonus experience from Barbarian Assault. This can be very fast so it's definitely worth noting. This next item is really important, the Crystal Tinder Box. If you're doing bonfiring, this is a must have basically. You can get this from the Prif uh, City. It'll give you four times a chance of getting a fire spirit and also two times a chance of getting a strange rock. Now that we've gotten done with the items, I'm going to go ahead and go through the best ways to get from 1 to level 99. You should definitely be using a portable brazier if they give 10% more EXP and also a 10% chance to save a log. Uh, you can find these by using the portables friend chat or you can also buy your own portable braziers at the GE. Um, I'm going to give you all the numbers uh, as far as how many logs you need without using your brazier, so um, you know if people are not using them. But uh, just uh, know to cut down the number of logs you need by about 10% or maybe a little less um, if you're going to use a portable brazier because you will be saving logs and also getting 10% more EXP. You will also be using 1,000 to 1,100 logs per hour by using a bonfire or a portable brazier, so I would highly recommend that you use presets in order to get closer to that 1,100 logs per hour goal. From level 1 to 15, you're going to be burning 50 regular logs. This will only take you about 5 minutes. From levels 15 to 30, we're going to be doing 129 oak logs, and this is only going to take you about 15 minutes. From levels 30 until 45, it's 460 willow logs, and this is going to take you about a half hour, but the good news is this is much cheaper than the previous experience you've been doing. For levels 45 until 60, you're going to need 1,573 maple logs. This is going to take you right around 90 minutes, about an hour and a half, um, and it's also very cheap, just like willows. From levels 60 to 75, you're going to need 3,603 U logs, and this is going to take you right around three and a half hours. For the next level, 75 to 90, you're going to need 13,081 magic logs, which is going to take you right around 13 hours. This next part here is more of an option. Um, from level 90 to 99, you can do 16,357 elder logs. Um, this is going to be the fastest way of doing it AFK, but um, this is basically going to cost you a lot of money. You can always continue doing magic logs. Just know that elder logs are going to be about 130,000 EXP per hour faster than the magic logs. So now that we've gone over the general guide of how to get 199 nowadays, I'm going to show you the alternative methods. These are not methods that are uh, pretty good. Uh, some of them are really good. Some of them are actually even better than the, uh, the standard way of training fire making. It just really depends whether you're looking for uh, an AFK, a non-AFK, you want to spend money or you don't want to spend money. It just really depends. So I'm going to give you guys lots of different options here. So the first alternative method is Protean Logs. At level 90 to 99, that gives you 788 base bonfire EXP. Um, if you do these on the Brazier or you're doing these with multiple people on your bonfire, they're going to give you even more. Also, the Protean, the protean Logs uh, do stack in your inventory, so you don't have to constantly bank when using them. The next thing is the Fire Making Brawler Gloves. They give you about 1,200 uses each, and, about, and they give you four times EXP if you are in the deep, deep wilderness. In the shallow wilderness, it's only going to give you about a little bit of a boost, but if you go way out there, it gives you four times the EXP. Uh, you can get these from Monster Drops, a lot of Slayer Monsters, or you can also get them from Pickpocketing. These do stack very nicely with the Protean Logs from Treasure Hunter. The next alternative here is definitely uh, definitely doable. It's uh, level 35 to 45, Teak, level 50 to 58, Mahogany, and level 58 to 60 is Eucalyptus Logs. If you do those logs on those levels, instead of doing uh, what I advised earlier, um, this will be a slightly faster experience rate, but uh, it should be known that it will also cost you a little bit more money when you do that. But if you want as fast as possible with the AFK uh, log burning on bonfires, then these are going to be the way to go for those levels. The next thing here is burning fire lines. Um, it's going to give you about 20% more EXP per hour. Um, so most of us have not done this since, uh, well, since bonfiring came out. Um, but actually, it's not really too terrible of a thing to do it every once in a while to break the grind of uh, bonfiring. And it is 20% faster, which can be quite significant if you're going for a higher amount of a EXP or a higher level. Um, if you think about it, uh, 10 days of bonfiring is cut down to 8 days of making fire lines. But in all honesty, in order to make um, fire lines for the entire way, 
um, you may want to do a different alternative method, but it's definitely something to keep in mind as it is 20% more. Some other really awesome alternatives are the Firemaker's Curse Rewards, including the Book of Char, Training at the Firemaker's Curse Area, and the Circus. The Circus will give you a quick, really quick experience boost uh, once a week. The uh, Book of Char is considered to be one of the best ways to get Firemaker experience in the entire game, giving you over 300,000 experience very quickly if you use Elder Logs. One of the best alternatives out there, and also the fastest grindable experience in the entire game for fire making, is the Curly Roots of Herbler Habitat. So right here you can see an example of what you could wear as far as your suit. You basically just want a whole bunch of prayer boosting equipment. Um, I recommend a mace in your weapon slot. You can also use the Dragon Rider equipment. It gives you even higher prayer boost than this stuff, but this is just an example right here. And you can even use the flame gloves and fire ring if you wish. As far as your inventory setup here, just remember you are going to be using uh, your prayer a lot. So I would bring prayer restoring potions such as prayer renewals, uh, super restore potions, and then some extra beaver pouches because those are extremely useful to use while you are down here. Keep your hatchet in the inventory so that way you can get your mace prayer boost. Watching in the background here, you can see as I get to the Herbal Habitat area, well, you'll be using uh, basically just use a Juju, Juju teleport spirit bag. Uh, and then run along this path. Um, another idea uh, why, when you get here is you can equip a wand in your uh, hand with no runes, that way you don't accidentally click on the creatures down here. Um, but basically what you're gonna be doing is cutting the curly roots uh, while having the super heat form prayer active. Um, something you have to remember is you have to have the quest done called Light Within um, in order to use this uh, prayer. If you don't have this prayer, you can also use the Inferno Adzi while you're down here, but you can expect far less uh, experience per hour while doing that. It should be noted that you need 83 wood cutting and 83 fire making to even do this, so uh, make sure you have those requirements before you decide to come down here. From levels 83 to 99, you can expect 340,000 fire making and 35,000 wood cutting per hour using the Inferno Adzi. These numbers are dramatically increased to 650,000 fire making and 70,000 wood cutting if you're using the Super Heat Form Prayer. That's why I highly recommend using that if you're going to be coming down here on these curly roots. You can see how I do curly roots in the background as I describe some more alternatives uh, to get your fire making level to 99. Cremation and the Citadel, the Clan Citadel, is uh, also some viable options for doing fire making. Um, the Clan Citadel is a little bit slower than some other things, but it is completely free and it is a little bit AFK. Um, and then cremation is another option, but uh, the thing is with cremation is a very expensive usually depending on what you are using um, And but you will get uh, prayer experience as well as fire making experience while doing cremation And I also recommend doing cremation on a brazier uh, Just like you were doing uh, the bonfiring if you're looking to get some extremely cheap herb lore experience You can also do the herb burner um, Which you can get from killing ghosts and you can also use uh, another player's herb burner So uh, find a friend who has one but uh, by using uh, herbs on the herb burner, it gives you fire making experience as well as herb lore experience, and it's fairly cheap for both. Another very popular and very cheap option is maples only. So getting level 45 to unlocking 83 for the curly roots is 19,346 maples on a bonfire. Level 45 to 99 on maples only is 96,096 maples. That may seem like a lot, but it's still very cheap in comparison to some other methods. If you want a cheap 120 cape, doing levels 45 to 120 on maples only is 771,939 maples. That will take quite a bit of time, but it's also very cheap. A fairly efficient and still fairly cheap method is U-Logs only. Level 60 until unlocking curly roots to 83 is 9,229 U-Logs. Achieving level 99 from level 60 is going to be 49,080 logs, which is about 48 hours. Achieving that super swishy 120 cape with only using U's is going to be 400,000 U's. And that seems like a lot, and it kind of is, but it's still a lot cheaper than if you were to do Magics or Elder. And as you saw, it will save you quite a bit of time in comparison to doing Maples roughly half the time. Other ways of easy experience would be Lamps, Stars, D&Ds, Quests, and every other reward you can think of. Uh, when you get those, just put them into Fire Making, and there you go, instant Fire Making experience. The last thing I want to mention here is going to be Invention. And if you're thinking, how does Invention help my fire making? Well, it helps because you can put the, uh, you can make an augmentable axe, like the crystal axe, and then when you go chop things, such as the uh, curly roots here, or even other trees while using superheat form or, you know, whatever, um, you will be able to gain faster fire making experience because the fact the perks will let you wood cut more efficiently, and that translates into more fire making experience for you. Hope this guide helps you out a lot. Subscribe, share with your friends, smack that like button. And uh, if you want more skill guides, please check my channel for those. If you're looking for money-making guides, you can also hit the Patreon link below in the description. 
and I guess I'll see you next time in the next video.